Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Fizz here, and today I'll be showing you how to make this super duper epic left kick mega left kick dash ability. Uh, I already set everything up, so go to the description and grab the pack, and we'll get into it. So, guys, what I've made in the script is a dash ability that plays when you press the key X. This can be changed in the script, which I'll be showing you soon, and there are many other features that we can update. So make sure to stick with me and we can go right on to them. Alright, without further ado, let's get right into the scripting. Now that we have the pack, all we have to do is open up the pack, grab a model, and the name where it's supposed to go will be named on the model. Move it to the place and ungroup the model. Then you'll be done with that, nope. and all you have to do is do that for both of them. Then you're done. There's a sound inside the dash script, so you can change that to whatever you want. So now let's go to the script. So pretty much there's some configurations. The original FOV, which is pretty much what the FOV of the game is. The original Roblox FOV Swipe. is 70, so pretty much I just left it at 70. Swipe. If you change your FOV, then you'll have to change the letter Swipe. The folders I added are there because it makes the game more easy to sort out, so if you're wondering, that's why. Pretty much I already told you about the field of view. We also have the dash distance, and the average distance for that is 100, so I would leave it at 100. And there's also the dash cooldown, which is 3 seconds. And you can change that to whatever you want, pretty much. There's also a really important thing, which is the animation ID. This is really important because the animation ID cannot be um, moved to another player, so I can't give you my animation ID. That's why I've included two animation dummies in the pack, so that you can grab the animation from there. There's an animation for R15 and for R6. All you have to do is click on the dot. Who you calling dummy? The top right corner and make sure the animation is action and publish it to Roblox. Then copy the ID, close out of that. Go into the dash script and go ahead and paste that inside the animation ID. And then you're done. I also added this one extra script which I think is really nice. I didn't make it myself and it only works for R6. So if you're not using R6, then you can just get rid of it. It just makes the character look nice, so I'll just show you th testing that out right now. Pretty much what it does, it makes the character kind of like lean forward, lean back, lean right, and it looks really cool. So if you want to keep that and you're using R6, then you can keep that if you want. I didn't make it, but it is free, so if you want it, then go ahead and use it. Alright, now we'll go into the dash. The dash looks really nice, I think. The animation looks really nice as well. So you can use the animation and the effects as much as you want, and I don't mind. Just make sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget the notification bell for when I upload another video. Thanks!